Joseph Smith was a boy, he wanted to do what's right, and he wanted to follow Jesus and keep the commandments. He wanted to find a church like the one he read about in the Bible, so he started going to all the churches by where he lived. He really wanted to find the one that was Christ's church, but none of them seemed to be the right one. But Joseph kept searching and he didn't give up. One day when Joseph was reading the Bible, he found a scripture that told him what to do. The scripture said, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Joseph kept thinking about that scripture, and he knew he needed to pray and ask God which church to join. One morning, Joseph went into the woods by his house so he could be alone to pray. He looked around to make sure that there was nobody there, and he got on his knees to pray. But he suddenly felt scared. Darkness came around him, and he thought he heard someone walking behind him. So he stopped praying, and he stood up to see who it was. He couldn't find anybody. He could have left and went home, but he knew he needed to pray. So he got back on his knees and tried again. This time, the darkness went away, and a bright light appeared all around him, and he didn't feel scared anymore. Then something really special happened. He saw Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ standing above him in the air. Heavenly Father pointed to Jesus and said, Joseph, this is my beloved son, hear him. Joseph asked which church he should join, and Jesus told him to join none of them, because none of them were his true church. They talked with Joseph for a long time, and they taught him lots of other things. Joseph told one of his friends about the vision. His friend didn't believe him. Lots of other people found out too, and they got mad at Joseph Smith and told him that his answer wasn't from God and he shouldn't believe it. But Joseph Smith knew it was true, and he was going to follow Jesus Christ. When Joseph was older, angels visited Joseph and told him that God wanted him to restore Christ's true church so that other people could find it. God called Joseph Smith to be his prophet. He translated the Book of Mormon from the Golden Plates. He received the priesthood. He built temples. He restored the gospel. He taught other people about the gospel. And he organized the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It wasn't easy for Joseph to obey God. Lots of people got really angry. They wanted him to stop teaching people about the gospel. God told Joseph, Fear not what man can do, for God shall be with you forever and ever. Joseph Smith had great faith, and he loved God more than anything else. He kept bearing his testimony his whole life, and he did everything God asked him to do.